Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, my name is Todd Bryson, in case you didn't know, I uh, have some things to share with you. Um, before I do that, I want to let you know that if you want to support the work that I do here on my channel, probably the best thing that you can do is share my services um, and share my videos in your spiritual communities. If you know somebody who might benefit from opening and working at the Akash with me, send them, send them my way and I'd love to see them. Um, okay, so I actually want to talk about open the, opening the Akash today. I want to talk about why you as an old soul and a light worker should be opening the Akash, even if, you know, you don't necessarily feel like you're having the experience in the way that some others are having. Um, and I do have a lot of uh, videos on my channel that show you how to open the Akash. So you should, you should find some ritual that works for you and go through the motions until you have a breakthrough. Okay. So a lot of you want to be opening your Akash because um, there are time capsules there for you. There's a version of you who has been on the earth, who understood that there would be a separation and who understood that eventually you would wake up from that separation. And there were things that you wanted to be intact. There were things that you wanted to be preserved for when you came back and were ready for them again. Um, but I will let you know that you have likely left time capsules for yourself, understanding that you would open up some of these spiritual components and that there would be things there for you. So I would keep on opening the Akash and I would do it as often as I can because um, it's not always about the visual and the sensational experience. Sometimes opening the Akash can facilitate a lot of exchanges, maybe even things that you've left and prepared for yourself. So a lot of you are able to get into the Akash or let's say, you know, you've, you've invested in meditating as a discipline as and as a routine. I mean, you do it all the time, but when you do it, you instantly engage in a tug of war with the mind. Um, so we, we want to let you know that it's important that you disengage from that push and pull part of the experience. You're not meant to be resisting the mind. You're not meant to be quieting the mind. The mind actually might be an important facilitator of those spiritual exchanges that are meant to take place. So if you turn off the mind entirely, you're probably cutting off a certain percentage of the downloads that you could be getting. So usually <clears throat> I, I do through ritual, prepare the mind to go into the Akash. Dear mind, I'm going into the Akash. Please accommodate the work that's being done here. But usually when I open the Akash, the first thing that I do is observe the mind. I don't interject. I don't intervene. I just let the mind talk and chatter about whatever it wants to. And I have found that it is the frustration about the mind being noisy or loud that takes us out of the meditation, not necessarily the mind itself. So you'll notice if you let the mind talk and if you don't belittle it or disengage from it or discourage it, it'll actually change in the way that it's talking to you and you'll enter into a different, a different spectrum of the mind and the consciousness um, just through having patience with it. So patience will go a long way for you. If you still have trouble, um, meaning that, you know, the mind is just unruly for you, it takes you out, or um, if there's too much stress during your day and there's too much going on that you, you know, you can't put it aside in the way that you want to, um, I have discovered what's called the water drip technique. And what you'll do is you can find this on YouTube. Um, you will find a track that just does a slow drip of water, slow drip of water. And I find that if the mind is trying to wander or trying to go that, to something that's off topic that I can't really disengage from, um, when that water drips, I'll come right back to that zero point and be able to work from there again. Um, you might say, you know, the water, the water dripping is annoying. Uh, yep, that's the point. It's supposed to captivate you. It's supposed to bring you back in. It's supposed to um, help everything get back on the same page. I have also discovered for those looking to uh, accommodate the visual part of the experience, I have discovered that reading 
is a really healthy exercise for the third eye. And I discovered this because I was going through a period of time where my third eye in doing so many sessions was getting really exhausted. So I was just looking for a solution. So you will want to read books with no music, no podcast going, nothing else going around. And you will want to let your third eye vividly hallucinate everything that you're reading and everything that you're observing. And I think you'll find that um, when it com comes time to do the spiritual stuff, you're more able to access that part of it. Another tip for you guys is I've been going into the Akash recently and not looking for any kind of information. I've been doing what are called uh, timing, time exercises. I've been actively working to utilize my intention within those spaces to slow or to accelerate time. And how I do this, first thing that I imagined um, when doing this in the Akash was a bird. So I would see a bird and I would s slow time, I would make its wings go slower, I would make its wings speed up. Um, I like to do this by going in and observing trees and, um, you know, kind of going through the tree looking like it's in a time lapse versus the tree looking like it's in slow motion. We are doing everything that we can to integrate our senses into those spaces and our ability or to focus our ability to interact and to engage and to immer immerse ourselves in those places in, in different ways. Um, Anyway, that's all I wanted to share with this one. I meant to fit this into the last video, but didn't really have time to. Um, I just wanted to encourage you to enter and to open your Akash and to be curious about what might be there for you and to practice holding and grounding and anchoring yourself there and then extending your reach from that anchoring point. Anyway, thank you very much, you guys. I will see you soon. Goodbye.